Okay, so here we go. You hold on to that for me. It's Don't good. let Charlotte power them all over the cart. Save them for the duckies. Okay, I'll just fasten you in the cart. Okay, welcome everybody to another vlog. A bit of a different one this week. And the girls have been cooped up in the house because of the temperatures. It's dropped to minus four here in the Netherlands. So it's pretty cold. Um, and it's expected to stay this way for quite a few days. So what I'm doing now is we're just going out to feed the duckies for Charlotte and Natasha. There we go. And Charlotte, you can probably hear, is making the ducky noises. She absolutely loves this, which is why uh, the ducks expect us. We do it every day. This is the uh, this is the way we go to Charlotte's school. Now there's going to be some weeks when I'm not able to compile a uh, a video as I would like. This being this being one of them. It's just too cold to get out for a ride on the road bike or the gravel bike. So this is my first time out of the house this weekend because of the temperatures and what should be noted is there's not much ice about at the moment but it's the wind that's keeping the temperature down. The daytime temperature at the moment is probably about one degrees but it's been bumped down to uh, minus four because of the wind. Although the wind does seem to have dropped at the moment a little bit. It's still very cold though, you can feel it. It's an east northeasterly wind and it's extremely cold. Really bites into you, so I'm wrapped up well, the girls are wrapped up well, but we won't be staying out very long. We just go to feed the duckies and then come back home. Now if it wasn't for the girls I wouldn't be getting out. I'd be staying in the house. But uh, this is this is part of a routine which you know I've already made the video about how important routines is. Sorry, a routine is to help with depression and this is a lot of fun I get a lot of joy out of doing this especially when the girls jump out of the cart and they, uh, they start to feed the ducks you'll see that I'll film it as, uh, as we get there And I also think it's important that while I'm putting together this series of vlogs you learn a little bit more about me and my family, the girls in particular. But I will do a separate video about that, about <laughs> how I've come to uh, to have two small girls despite being told I would never have children again so but that's for that's for another vlog and another story but it's quite a nice story and one I think you'll enjoy but what I'm hoping in this series is that along with telling you how I cope with my depression and 
and giving you uh, tales and anecdotes. I'm also hoping that you know you'll you'll enjoy the family side of things when I involve it because that's obviously a huge part of my life and plays a big part in helping me with the depression and sometimes I have to admit sometimes the weight of responsibility does get on top of me and so it's a double-edged sword it can be uh, it can be difficult at times to cope with because for somebody of my age having two small children it's a huge responsibility and one I take very seriously but it can be hard oh we're nearly there so this is about halfway to Charlotte's school so we come this way every morning during the week to bring Charlotte to school so we know this way well it's a nice now that we're on it it's a nice cycle path and it's a lovely area but we started feeding the ducks about a couple of weeks ago now and so this has become a regular a regular thing every morning we uh, me and Charlotte we stop pull over and feed the ducks and as we do get away from the built up areas not only do you see an awful lot more wildlife I mean on this run in in the mornings I've seen foxes squirrels rabbits hares all kinds of wildlife and I usually try to point them out to uh, to Charlotte there was a time when she was frightened by animals and particularly the ducks and geese approaching her but she's becoming a lot a lot more outgoing a lot braver now and actually feeds them out of a hand sometimes <sighs> okay I wonder if the lake is going to be iced up or whether it will be free of ice I think it's going to be free of ice <sighs> the temperatures have only really dropped since Friday night so last night was very cold but I think the wind is stopping them, the lakes from freezing here we go so the ducks will probably recognise us and start coming towards us because as I say we come here every day so okay girls here we go let me Ah, and they're coming out of the water for you, look. The duckies are waiting for you. There you go. Oh, thank you. Okay, Charlotte, do you want to get the bread? Do you want to give them some bread? <laughs> Come on then, give the duckies some bread. Do you hold that? Because I need to pull out my gloves so okay. I can feed them. I'll throw them here. Okay. Now don't throw it all at once Natasha, throw it in bits and let Charlotte throw some Don't get too close to the edge please Okay Oh Charlotte's throwing them all on the floor Okay Charlotte, pick it up from the floor There you go oh. uh, We get the seagulls coming in as well They try to pinch it from the duckies Charlotte, are you going to throw some bread in? There you go. Yay! Good girl, yes! Ah. Come on, throw some more bread in, Charlotte. <laughs> As I say, the girls love doing this. 
Oh, we got some moor hens as well, Charlotte. Let's just have a look at them. There we go, look, moor hens. Now don't stand too close to the edge. It's deep. Okay, there you go. Yay! <laughs> oh, the girls love this. Oh, so do I, yeah? I mean, it's great fun. Get some more bread, Charlotte. Charlotte, get some more bread. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Way. There you go. Look at the birds. Look at the birds. Ah. Now what I will do is when I get my uh, my new camera, I'll uh, I'll see if we can't catch a couple of these birds in flight. Should be quite good. No, she's okay. Come on, Charlotte, come and feed the duckies. No, down here, Charlotte, down here. Come on, we stay together. Oh, somebody's left an apple. Let's throw that in for them. There we go. Okay, feed some more ducks, Charlotte. Oh, yeah, in it goes. There you go. There we go. Feed the duckies as well, make sure you don't just feed the birds. Can daddy help? Daddy help. There you go, birdies. <laughs> you see how excited Charlotte gets? She loves this. Now when we come on school days, obviously we've only got f like three to five minutes, so we usually cut this short, but uh, I brought them out today because both girls have been cooped up in the house all the weekend because of the temperatures. So, oh, the swans come in. Look at the beautiful swans. Ah, oh, aren't they lovely? Look at that beautiful swan. See if you can throw it some bread. Oh. There we are, Swan's got some. There you are. Throw some bread for the swan, Charlotte. There you go, good girl. And the other swan. Come on, let's give the other swan some bread. There you go. Oh, there's a lot of seagulls now. A lot of seagulls. Yeah, this is this is fun. <laughs> oh, well done, girls. Are you going to throw them in, Charlotte? Throw them in then. <laughs> Shall I got all the bread? She's picked them all up. Oh, he's hissing, Charlotte. Don't go closer. There. there we go. Yay! Good girls. Well, this is nice that the swans have come and joined us. Aren't they beautiful, Natasha? Yeah. When I get the new camera, I'll get some really nice pictures of them. Can you see the things on the legs where they've yeah. been... Uh, that's mm -hmm. so that the... Uh, the Wildlife Foundation can keep an eye on them and keep a check on them. <coughs> there are some young somewhere, but it's cygnets, are, but I don't know where they are at the moment. <sighs> okay. No, don't throw sticks in, girls. Come on, now it's time to go home. Come on, then. Time to go home. Uh, last piece of bread, then. Then it's Charlotte. Do you want to put your hat on? Hat on. Come on. Okay. No, I don't want you going near the edge, Charlotte, because you might slip and fall in. Come on. Okay, Natasha, in the cart, please. Charlotte, come on, in the cart. No, don't run away from me, come on. Yeah, come on. Good girl. Yeah, throw it in then. Come on, in the cart. 
Oh, duck, duck, yes. <coughs> quack, quack. <laughs> In the car then. In the car then. There you go. Well, I think that was a successful operation. Well done, girls. Very well done. Oh. My, my, Ooh. my shoes are very dirty now, though. Well, we can leave them downstairs in the hallway. Okay, let's see if the bridge is open. Or whether we have to go around. A lot of seagulls. Okay. Say bye. We'll see you tomorrow. And there's the animal farm, Natasha. We'll be visiting that again. Not today though. Both girls really love animals. And so we take them out into the countryside as much as we can. I think that's one of the things that I'm really, really happy about. And that's that uh, both girls seem to have inherited mine and Hilke's love of the outdoors. Because they're very much at their happiest when they are out of doors. I think we are lucky living on the edge of town like we do because we're never that far from getting out into the uh, into the countryside. <sighs> okay, so just a short trip out, but it uh, gives the girls a little bit of exercise and oh, there's Hilker obviously going shopping. <laughs> 